A rare total solar eclipse is coming to North America on April 8, 2024. By now, you must have heard that a very symbolic solar eclipse is about to serve as a sign to America. The implications are ominous. And for those of you that are following this event, there's probably nothing new that I or anyone can say concerning this. Stop. There may be one thing that you may not be considering. When I tell you what it is, beside the fact that you'll say, wow, that was obvious, and how could we miss that? You might want to get your Bible out and verify if what we're saying is true. And who knows, you may see things that I may have missed. If you do see something else, please write it in the comments. If you did not consider what I'm about to tell you, write that in the comments as well. Okay, let's get into it. Is the handwriting on the wall for America? No. The hand of God is writing on the wall of America. Hint, hint. So by now, you know that on April 8th, a solar eclipse is going to cross America. The details of this event are too exact and ill-omened to ignore. Right now, preachers, pastors, prophets, and YouTube prophets are all bellowing out warnings as they muse over the dark possibilities. Of course, the intellectual schools of thought amongst the Christian fellowship remain silent lest they be deemed superstitious, fundamentalists, and the dreaded people of faith, instead of people of reason and logic. The Church of Christ must heed prophecy. As a matter of fact, the first sermon that launched the church was largely prophetic. Remember Peter? This is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. The church will culminate with the fulfillment of prophecy. The church ignoring the prophetic signs and warnings is like a bird ignoring its nest or a man ignoring oxygen. This eclipse is definitely a sign which has been examined from every angle. You know the seven towns called Nineveh through which the eclipse will cast its shadow, symbolic of the sign of Jonah, which was actually an eclipse. Then there's the fact that the eclipse is on a Jewish new moon and the Jewish new year is set to begin on the same day. These are all striking coincidences, don't you think? Oh, and then there's the weird fact that this eclipse on April 8th, a giant Aleph will be completed over the US. The Hebrew letter started with the great American eclipse of 2017, and seven years later, April 8th, 2024, the Aleph will be completed. The Aleph is representative of God and the oneness of God. The numerical value of Aleph is one. Now, this is what some may have missed. God took seven years to reveal this Aleph. It is deliberately being given in such a way as if it is writing stroke by stroke, reminiscent of writing on a wall as we see in Daniel chapter 5. Except this writing is across the entire mainland of America. Why not across a wall? Because America claims to have no walls. This is evident. So it's as if God is literally writing like a hand writing on the wall. So here's what this eerie sign could indicate. The son of Nebuchadnezzar, King Belshazzar, drank from the cups taken from the temple in Jerusalem. During this abomination, the king saw part of a man's hand on the wall over from a candlestick. Not a menorah, but something that was more like a chandelier, a hanging fixture that gave light from above. Our candlestick is the sun shining from above. The hand wrote, Mene, Mene, Tikel, Upersin. This writing was in three parts just as the writing on America's land is in three parts. Mini, Mini, one, Tikel, two, Ufarsin, three, or Perez. The summary of the writing meant, you have been numbered, weighed, and divided. The oneness of God conveys the immutability of God, meaning that he does not change. His writing on the wall spelled judgment for Babylon. What does America's writing on the wall mean? Are we numbered? Have we been weighed? And will we be divided? Or should I say divided further? Now. Here's the really worrisome part. While the hand was writing on the wall against the suspended light of the candlestick, the enemy was already inside the land. Could it be, as we ponder what the writing on the wall of America means, the enemy is already in our land? Well, many sources are already indicating that a threat on American soil is imminent because of the unvetted millions that have crossed its southern border. The Medes and the Persians conquered Babylon the very night that the writing appeared and Belshazzar was killed that same night. Belshazzar means Bel protecting the king. This in our time would mean that the sovereignty of our nation 
the sovereignty of America will be called into question. The Medes and the Persians are none other than modern day Iran, the very nation that many experts believe is sending fighters onto American soil. Now think about that and subscribe for more if you want to hear another part of this.